What's up everyone, Barricade here, bringing you guys another part of my Resident Evil 3 walkthrough. So let's go ahead and continue here. We just met Kendo, and now we're making our way to the police department. We got the gate key here. So let's head and go ahead and go through. Whew. So I know the police department's the other way, but I'm guessing this will help me open this for some reason. I don't think I have to go this way. It wouldn't make sense for me to go this way. Oh yeah. Oh, one of those weird ass zombies. Oh, what the f God dang it. One of those weird ass zombies are over there. Oh, there's a door that way. Let me go back this way real quick. Yes, I know the discarded items. I kind of only did that earlier. Ugh, okay. Sometimes you gotta just use the ammo to get away from them. That's how I've been doing it. Oh, wow. This is crazy. So this is the police department right here. I guess I don't have to go into it this time. What did I just pick up? High grade gunpowder. Okay. This is tripping me out because in the original Resident Evil 3, you had to go to the police department. But it seems like we're kind of avoiding it now, actually. Oh, I could discard it. Oh, that's why it's telling me that. Cause I used the keys and it's kind of no point in having it no more. Okay. God dang it. How did that one zombie not get hit? Just gonna make a beeline between them, just run right through. Woo! Okay. Um, actually, I'm gonna go back to here real fast. I want to put something, I want to put some of this stuff away. Do I have, oh, I do have normal gunpowder. I might as well combine it and make shotgun ammo. There you go. Why not, right? And what is this diamond for? I still haven't had the chance to even use this. Bought into something, but it doesn't say what. Okay, whatever. Oh shit. Okay, um. Oh my god. Oh, no. I'm kind of worried about that because what the hell? Oh! could grab me from that far okay um okay um I guess I'm about to go back again <laughs> I noticed I've never been like the full on because like when you're fully healed, you're like the dark green. But this whole time I've been like that lighter green, which means I have like taken some damage. And then I was like kind of like that dark caution. Ugh. Dark caution. So I said, ah, screw it. I'll just heal all the way. It's hard of being like in between. And then that's the thing too. Claire went up this way when you play as Claire in Resident Evil 2. And it led into a completely different area. So now I'm going somewhere completely different. This wasn't even available in Resident Evil 2. Kind of makes me want to play Resident Evil 2 to see where it, where it was. Apparently that's the thing. <sighs> I hear something. You guys hear that? Oh, that's what I hear. Fuck off. Oh, that's 
weird. And when it dies, it like just disappears and the normal zombie's face res resurfaces. Anything up here? What oh, is this, an apartment? Interesting. Oh, good thing I got the lockpick this time. I just want to keep the lockpick with me all the time. It's hard of not being able to open stuff. Oh! That was worth keeping. Raccoon Times Reader's Column. Dear Editor, I'm writing to you because I am troubled. Deeply troubled. Anyone who's been a parent knows that Crystal Promenade is the place to take your kids for a trip downtown on Saturdays. And there's no store more popular or harder on a parent's wallet than Toy Uncle. However, I've noticed that on windy days, the big statue above the entrance wobbles like the only thing holding up is a couple of screws. If that statue's head tumbles loose on a busy day, children will be badly hurt. I've complained to the manager three times now, but he just isn't willing to rectify the situation. Are we supposed to wait for a terrible accident to happen before taking action? No. If heads are going to roll, then let it be the managers. Take that death trap down. So there's got to be... That's that's a hint right there. There's I'm probably going to go near a statue or something later that has that big ass head. And then I'm going to probably have to knock it down for some reason. Oh, okay. Getting the big guns now! Oh hell no! Nah. Rocket launcher? Really? Oh shit! That really wants to kill me. Fuck off, zombie! Fuck off! Oh, he's behind me! Oh, this is not okay. 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 Okay, um. Okay, so I gotta go straight. Okay. Oh, I know where I'm at. Oh no, I got sandbanked! Oh! Shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Jill, you okay? Carlos, that monster's on my ass again. Are you shitting me? I thought you killed him. <sighs> I thought Me so too. too. Dodge, 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 dodge. Oh no. Fuck. God damn, she thought she didn't explode. really wants to kill her. So persistent. That's the problem with these damn BLWs from Umbrella. They never give up. Makes Mr. X look like a pushover, I swear. Him and Mr. X in a fight. Hemsus would destroy him. So if you believe that's the right thing to do, Carlos. Hmm. Oh. Shaman's crabs. That just sounds funny. Oh, I'm back this way. Okay. So I got... Oh, I'm kind of circling back to where I did that one time. Okay. Um. Shit. Okay, so I go... Okay, yeah, I know where I'm going. Oh, I thought I was going to be the one to do that. Uh, 
That's some crazy shit. Man's in a giant. Oh yeah, toy uncle. Tour shop. Fuck off, fuck off! Oh god, I'm so glad I'm seeing him and not a fucking zombie in the way. Run! Oh, he plants some C4s. Oh! Freaking destroyed him. Go! Go! Oh, nice. Come on. Let's get out of here. Carlos is doing his, his such a, as much help as he can get. Oh my god, she's doing so much. Thank you, Carlos. And I pointed a gun at him. I was just actually just trying to see if I need to reload. Carlos, I know we didn't get off to a great start. Thanks for the save. Hey, you saved my ass first. You're a hell of a lot braver than me. Well, what matters is that we can get everyone out of the city now. Yeah. Hey, you'll be safe. What about you? Uh, from the sound of it, I won't be catching the train. <sighs> Why not? No, there'll be new orders. If it means I can help save the city, it's fine by me. There's no saving the city. is well deserved. Get inside. The subway's about to leave. Carlos, Tyrell, you have your orders. You need to go back out into the city and find Nathaniel Bart. This isn't the last ride out of town, right? Do not worry. Once the civilians are safe, the train will be back. It's all right. You're going ahead. I'm not going to die on you, leave you in a cold, cruel, Carlosless world. <laughs> okay. You'll need to find this scientist. His vaccine research could save us all. You see? You're learning. The only life that matters is your own. Good luck. Let's go! <sighs> That's kind of one of those scary moments where you think, you know, am I gonna ever see that person again, you know? You don't really think a pencil pusher like Barton is still alive, do you? I have it on good authority. Why? Are you worried about teammates? Or something else? He doesn't care about anyone but himself. Funny how brainless zombies can ambush a platoon like that. Funny the gate was locked. Don't you think? <laughs> what was that? Oh no. Aww. How is this fucker not dead yet? Just no. They're gone. Come. He sweat. And then she was feels probably feels responsible now. Nikolai, what are you doing? It's not after you. <laughs> What a piece of shit. Oh no! Mikhail! Get off my train. Shit, bird! Uh... I knew that was gonna happen because that's basically what happens in the original game. But it was cool on how they did it. Because <sighs> in the original game, he didn't stab him like that. God. Poor Mikhail. And Nikolai's a freaking piece of trash. All he cares about himself. Man. Jeez.
Oh, it's been a while. Subway's got to be clear of the city by now. Along with your hot date? Nah, but she's not like that. Hell, she's not like anybody. <clears throat> okay, so they're going their ways into the police department then. Alright. Oh shit, I'm playing as Carlos. Going, Romeo. This is the police station. Are you sure? It looks like a cemetery to me. I know, right? Oh damn, he got some good weapons. Ooh, got machine gun, got the pistol. Brad, stop! T. Come on, man. Oh, Brad. Oh no! So he's already a zombie. Sorry. Sorry. Oh god. No! Oh damn it! So that's how it happens. That's how it happened. Fuck. Shit, it's locked. You stay on the door. I got this fucker. God, Brad. Oh, he's probably gonna be stronger than most zombies. Yeah. For you guys that don't know, you could fight Brad in Resident Evil 2 in the old Leave game. Come on. And he's like way stronger than a normal zombie. Wow. These stars. That could be useful. Poor, poor Brad. In the original game, he got killed by Nemesis, though. So I don't, I don't know if that's what happened. They didn't really show it in this game. In this version. Where'd that cop go? Don't know, don't care. We got a job to do. If our intel's still worth a damn, then Bard's in the star's office. Let's find him and take him into custody. Okay. Custody? I thought this was a rescue. Okay. Carlos, me... take a look at this. Oh. I've located the star's office. Remember, Bard had access to Umbrella's darkest secrets. He knows we'll try to keep him under our thumbs. So this search and rescue mission is really more like find and detain. Hmm. Right. Good to know. I'll open the shutter so you can get through. You stay here and find out what's been going on here at the station. Call you if I find anything. Okay. Hey! Well, after playing Resident Evil 2, a yeah. lot I kind of... You too, man. No, already know the breakdown of the station. Oh, well. That's already the way it is. That's crazy. Okay, so I think this is where we're going to end the video for now. This is crazy, man. Whew. <sighs> If you guys like this video, please definitely hit that like button and subscribe. Tell me what you guys think. Next time, we're going to go ahead and continue with as Carlos. So this is interesting. All right. You want me to keep out? I'll keep out. <laughs> That's where Leon went in the Resident Evil 2 game. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, guys, and take it easy.